Futures trading involves risk and is not suitable for all investors. Content provided in this segment is meant for educational purposes and is not a solicitation to buy or sell commodities. people hello and welcome once again to another home version of basis loaded that special thanks to my son Jaden again for a very nice rendition of living on a prayer we here at basis loaded we like to survive on a steady diet of hits from the 80s and we have another edition there's a marquee in the background lit up with the basis loaded sign thanks to my daughter Maya for that uh, once again I am Joe Schmidt joined as always remotely by the Czar of all media at Rice Dairy, Paige Driscoll, and this is Bases Loaded, the weekly breakdown of the NDPSR. And, you know, it's uh, day 27 of quarantine. I'm hearing a lot of stories of folks out there that are having trouble because they can't go get a haircut. And I just want to tell you, you are the, you're the true heroes throughout this whole pandemic, walking around with shaggy hairdos. I certainly do feel for you. And uh, without further ado, starting with the NDPSR with butter. This butter number, actually pretty impressive here at 162.09 at about 2.8 million pounds. So the volume recovered a little bit, up 600,000 pounds from a week ago. And this basis is not too shabby. Uh, compared to the CME average of 163.60, this represents a minus one and a half. So better volume and respectable basis. So still lower than normal volume, but but definitely improvement over the 2.2 that we had last week. And then moving on to blocks, this block number, possibly uh, a little bit of a disappointment to some because here at 182.15, that represents a minus four discount to the CME weekly average of 186.35. Now that 186.35, you'll remember we spiked higher, put that in, and then sold off. So we had a 10 cent break between this week one of April pricing and week two, where the average is closer to 175. So I guess minus four is not that bad of a number, all things considered. What is a little bit disappointment is this volume. At 9.9 .9 million pounds, we're talking about two and a half million pounds below the normal for blocks on a weekly average. So to get that 182 number and to get that product move, it looked like they had to discount a little bit and they weren't even that successful in doing that. Now the story is a little bit rosier here in the barrels. This number at 187.84 represents five and a half cent premium to the two week CME average of 143.12. So barrel started at a lower number. You'll remember when we started this break at the CME, we had a substantial block barrel spread. And that has been corrected largely as both have moved lower, but the block has moved significantly lower than the barrel in that time. So the barrel doesn't have quite as far to fall. The real story in the barrel is with that five and a half cent premium, we were able to move almost 13 million pounds at this, at the, on the NDPSR here. So that is a big, weekly volume. That's almost a million pounds over the normal. And if you look at close to 13 million pounds, you're essentially 3 million pounds over the block volume. So that block barrel spread typically blocks uh, trade, let's call it about a million to a half a million over. This time the blocks are 3 million under on volume. So maybe a little bit of a disappointment there. And then moving on to way, 37.67, that re represents plus five to the CME weekly average of 132.60. 37.67, a very respectable number. However, the volume is limited, only three and a half million pounds. So compared to the CME at 32.60, uh, this is a really positive number at 37.67. However, the volume is lackluster. Normally, when I see lackluster volume, I kind of think that maybe guys are having trouble moving product and that a decline is soon to come. But in the way, I believe that is 
one of the, the only of the five NDPSR products that seems to be on relatively solid footing out in the country on a fundamental basis. It seems like whey is still difficult to find. So I would expect these big premiums on the NDPSR to continue as we move forward. And then lastly, non-fat. The non-fat CME averaged 98.9. So let's call it 99 cents. This number at the CME at 107.73 represents a plus nine. So after last week being a minus four, we had a 13 shift in basis, nine over. I have no clue what's happening here. I mean, this is this is unheard of. We traded 50 loads at the CME that week that we printed 98.9. That's 2.2 million pounds. 2.2 million pounds goes in at 98.9 minus four, if you think it's coming from out west. Still, with all that weight going in, 2 million pounds, we still had 13.5 million pounds volume and a 107.73 price. So just a massive price, even though they weren't able to move a lot of weight. You probably only had 10 million pounds move outside of what was traded at the CME. So quite a shocker and possibly the biggest shock on this report. It feels like a typo. Uh, we'll see. I think you're going to get a revision off of that 107 uh, number because it is way out of line with what we saw at the CME. So as I said, this is the first week of April pricing, the first of four. And I'm currently getting a class three price of 1390. But again, this is just an estimate because when you have a 50 cent break in blocks, it's difficult to figure out the lag on the CME, uh, or I'm sorry, on the NDPSR. So I'm using some down 22, down 25 weeks in getting that 1390 number. Now, obviously, if the CME, if the NDPSR is a little bit more efficient and keeps up with the CME, uh, that number could be a little bit closer to where futures are down at the 1376 level currently. And then class four got a bump off of this non-fat number. We'll see if it holds, but currently I have class four coming in at 1190. So call it a 1290 class three, class four blend. Uh, and um, a, a bit of that uh, increase in my estimate comes off of this class four number. So it's approaching four o'clock in the afternoon. It's time for my quarantine coffee which uh, consists of lime juice and Patron, no coffee at all. And uh, so I'll be enjoying that out on the patio this last 70, 70 degree day. Hopefully you can do the same. We'll see you next week. Thanks, bye-bye. Thanks for watching RDTV. If you enjoyed that, be sure to subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave us a comment below or send us an email. You can also follow Rice Dairy on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. See you next week.